Hi, this is Gina with your Kingdom Sewing Minute Clinic. And for this lesson, I'd like to talk to you about reinforcing stitches. So we're gonna start here with the Baby Lock Chorus. And you can see I'm on my buttonhole tab here. If I scroll up, you can see these are all the buttonholes. We'll scroll down and here's the bar tack stitch that I've chosen. This is a stitch that you will see on uh, flies to reinforce certain parts of the fly on your pants also to attach belt loops and sometimes to reinforce the upper corners of your pockets uh, just to make them a little bit more durable. You'll notice that uh, we are being told to use the A foot. So let me show you how we do that. I'll come in here and give you a close up view. So this is our A foot and generally we use this for our uh, buttonhole. Um, and we would open up this back portion here and put our button in here. For this application, we're just gonna open it up to the length that we want our stitch to be. And I'll go ahead and put that on the machine here. And pull down our buttonhole lever. And you'll see I've got one here that I stitched out, but I'll show you how that's done so you can see the process. We'll come in a little bit closer there so you can see how it's stitching. So it's gonna start with a little straight stitch. Goes back and forth a couple of times for extra security. And then it's gonna do a nice zigzag over the top just to give it a tidier appearance. And it'll do a little tie off at the end to lock that stitching in place. And there you have that nice bar tack stitch. So you might wanna give this a try if you're working on uh, tote bags or things where you're uh, maybe going to be um, putting a lot of items in and out or you've got some extra strain on a seam. This is a nice way to reinforce those seams. So there's another stitch I'd like to show you. That bar tack you'll also find on the Janome machines, on a lot of Janome machines. And we can see here, this is the bar tack stitch right here. Uh, but the one I want to show you is the one right next to it here, number 15. This is a reinforcing stitch that's generally used for garments. Uh, and this is a stitch that I used to actually stitch by hand on my show coats, which were like a suit jacket with a pleat in the back. And so, um, or a vent pleat. So I've kind of created that little pleat here. And so this is a stitch that we're going to put here at the top of that uh, pleat so that it's secure because that's an area that would tend to pull out over time. So let me show you how that stitches. I'm getting a little closer so you can see. So it creates kind of a triangular look. You can see it's going to go back and forth. And then over the top for the little decorative portion of the stitch. A little tie off at the end. And you'll see that makes a, a pretty little decorative um, reinforcement stitch that you can put at the top of your pleats so that they don't pull out over time. So give one of these a try. They're a great way to reinforce seams and pockets and bell loops. This has been your Kingdom Sewing Minute Clinic.